Let's turn now to the latest in the AI arms race as heavily funded startups and tech giants hustle to get any lead they can. Now Amazon-backed Anthropic says it's developed the company's most intelligent model yet. Kate Rooney has the latest details. And I've been watching on social media, Kate, while people mess around with it. And you can do some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, Kelly, it's interesting. So Anthropic is really a first mover here with this news. They say it's their most intelligent AI model yet. But it is also a new type of AI models that competitors think of Google and OpenAI do not have at this point. It's called a hybrid model. So it's a mix between reasoning, basically stopping to think about complex answers, and then a traditional model that tends to spit out those answers in real time. I spoke to Anthropics co-founder Jared Kaplan. He told me instead of consumers needing to pick between all of these different options, quote, they want one coherent AI that can help with everything, he says there's an advantage in that simplicity. People can turn the reasoning part on or off, it's sort of a toggle feature. And this is live and available today. As you said, Kelly, people are starting to mess around with it. The move could give Anthropic a much needed edge against some of its competitors, OpenAI and a lot of the big tech companies. This is the company we should mention, backed by Amazon. Amazon's invested about $8 billion into this startup. Anthropic product chief product officer Mike Krieger, who also happened to co-found Instagram, also told me this is an effort to make this whole chatbot experience more simple, simplify the whole thing, says these models, they all have different personalities. They're all a little bit different. And he would eventually hope that users don't have to think about it in the future. We also heard from Sam Altman. He hinted a couple weeks ago that OpenAI would move in this direction. He posted on X that his company would try to do a, quote, better job in simplifying our product offerings, writing that we hate the model picker as much as you do, and we want to return to what he called the magic of unified intelligence. Kelly. Well, it's, you know, you watch these wars back and forth, and it's incredible how every day you turn around, there's something new and better and amazing on the scene, but the real trick is going to be who can stick with consumers. OpenAI with ChatGPT now has, what, 400 million 400 active million. users? That's going to be the tough part. And they also, everybody's sprinting at the same time after enterprises, but you are seeing this sort of flywheel effect where the more people are using your consumer chatbot, the more those same people are going to go to their company and say, hey, boss, I'm actually using this great chatbot. Why don't we try to integrate it on the enterprise side? So Anthropic is really battling here. They've had a couple wins, though. They launched sort of this agent capability ahead of OpenAI. So it's one thing to be the first mover. It's another thing to be the best and to have a sustained moat, which I think is one of the big questions about these richly valued companies. I think at the end of the day, though, this all benefits consumers. You know, if you and I are using these chatbots, these companies battling to make these better and smarter and more efficient is, will benefit, you know, the end user and make it easier. If you're not an engineer, you just want it to be the easiest option, right. make it simple on the front end. I think that, that helps a lot of us out there. Yeah, and I'm thinking a lot about Google these days. Like I said, I, was, I yeah. find myself using it more. Now when I go back to Google, I'm like, ah. I have to go back to this Blue clunk. Who's Brian, doing that? I, I need to get Brian <laughs> what I do? into this world, Kate. Sorry, I, I, I use perplexity. What? Perplexity's okay.